Hello and welcome to this uh, short video on preparing floral diagrams and formulae. So to start with here are some of the materials that you'll need. Uh, you know you'll need pencils, hopefully a variety of grades, um, an eraser, compass and a ruler. You'd want a pencil sharpener to keep your pencils sharp as well. Sharp lines make for a neater diagram. Okay, so here we go. We're going to hand draw a floral diagram. It's going to be a hypothetical plant. Okay, so um, first step, uh, we're going to draw our lines. So like if we were doing calligraphy, we'd be lining out the, the diagram. So now we're just adding our lettering, so um, we're just uh, naming our diagram. We're labeling, the, putting the label on first, do it in blocks. We're using the lines uh, to frame our letters. So that's, you can see it's a hypothetical is what it says. I'll sh I know this is the wrong way around, I'll show you the right way around. <laughs> At the end, now we're going to put the formula. Again, we'll come to that in a minute. So you've got four worlds, W-H-O-R-L-S, the calyx, the corolla, the andrusium, and the gynusium. Okay, so I'm just going to do a basic one of uh, five sepals. So that's K5, five, five petals, that's C5, um, five stamens, that's an andrusium of five, and the gynusium, I just do one superior ovary. And it's going to be a really symmetrical plant. Actinomorphic. It's going to be hermaphrodite, and that simple goes in as well. So you start your diagram by making a large cross. Do it in uh, light color because we are a light uh, leaning on your pencil so that we can rub it off later. Um, so I'm going to try and do a five, five. So five arcs that are more or less the the same same size. Have to kind of you have to play with a little bit. You could use a um, a protractor and basically measure out your um, five points that are going to be in the gaps between the petals. I do this by eye. Same for um, the sepals. Just move the compass out a little further. Do the same procedure. So your two worlds are in a inner are in a ring here. I can decide to do an inner one for the stamens. Um, I've just put what I've done there is I just did one arc for a bract, and then a small mark on the uh, on the uh, y-axis here. See that mark there? That's just to show you that you have uh, the axis of the flower. Now what I'm doing is, is I'm marking the midpoints of the arcs. The midpoints is the highest, going to be the highest point that you've got, and an arc added on to make the thickness of the, of the uh, in this case, the sepals. So we fill those out then by drawing from the ends to the midpoint. Some styles you have um, a pointed to rib. not doing that I'm just doing the the, the rounded um, style so you can see that there we go there's the five uh, I color these in or shade them in in this case you can use color if we wish but um, I, for today I'm just using all pencil I shade those in Okay, all right, and then um, uh, 
I'm going to draw in the ovary with um, one ovule plus a circle within a circle. And then I'm going to do, um, if you like, a, an inner ring to place the, the five stamens. There we go. Okay. And then I'm marking, I've gone back now, I'm going to do the, the thickness of the petals on the corolla. Open done. And they're being colored in. Actually the hatching was what I used. I used hatching on the on the calyx and I'm actually shading in on the uh, on the corona. Fair enough. <coughs> And we're going to do then a, a third way of, uh, I suppose, a third form of uh, colouring in on the bract, just to show that it's different from the rest. That's it. Last one. left-handed so everything is sometimes a bit back to front uh -huh. that's it and now I'm rubbing out all my extra lines as much as I can I don't worry if there's a few little marks that are extra um, but if you can if you can rub out the uh, the axes you can rub out the arc the circles that you were placing everything on you could of course then go over in uh, an, an indelible pen or India ink and then uh, once it's fully dry rub out the, all of the pencil marks and that would leave you with a very clean looking diagram. So that's possible too. There we go. And just tidy up the sharpness of the edges. And lastly, um, the midpoint of the bract, the thickness, uh, and then add in the, uh, the second lines to make it show it has depth. And then uh, the shading method I tend to use on the bract is pointed, so it's full of dots. And that's it. Okay, so here's our finished diagram. You can see clearly uh, uh, the title, hypothetical. The floral formulae, hermaphrodite, calyx of five, corolla of five, andrusium of five, gynosium of one, actinomorphic symmetry. And you've got um, five petal, five sepal, five stamen, one ovary. You, you can see the bract and you can see the axis of the plant. That's it. Thank you.